so far we have created the scatter plot we change the color of the scatter data points also give some styling to our data points in this video we'll see how to set the color scale based on a factor variable we'll continue working with empty cars data set using the same piece of code define de defining data as empty cars x as weight y variable as and miles per gallon the type remains the same as scatter plot and mode as markers we'll use the color and we want the data point to be colored based on the number of cylinders in the car let's have a look on empty cars data structure as we can see that we have this variable cylinder number of which uh, which shows the number of cylinders um, can be six cylinders four cylinders or eight cylinders it shows us numeric so in order to use that uh, this as factor we need to convert this into factor and that's why you can see here as as dot factor so we'll say color equals tilde as dot factor cylinder and now we will see that data point should be colored differently uh, if it's a four cylinder car or a six cylinder car or a eight cylinder car let me run this piece of code and as expected um, four cylinder cars are colored differently and we see different uh, color data points which are um, the cars having six cylinders and then we have here few data points um, which has uh, um, which are eight cylinder cars uh, what we can do is um, we can define uh, the data points based on color blue brewer palettes so same piece of code uh, we're still telling that the color should be based on the number of cylinders however use the color um, based on set one palette of color brewer and we do that using colors argument colors is equals set one there are different types of palettes defined and you can find them over the internet um, color brewer has got um, predefined palettes and one of them is set one so if I run this piece of code, I can we can see that um, the color is now changed. Same concept, um, the data points uh, should be of different colors based on the number of cylinders. We see the legend here, um, top right corner, um, from showing four four cylinder cars, six cylinder cars, and eight cylinder cars. We can define our own set of or uh, vector of colors. Um, um, how, how we do that is um, instead of passing the um, color brewer palette we define our own palette or set of colors and pass it on to the colors argument so here I, I have created a vector of colors saying pal um, equals um, uh, red blue and green it's a vector and then uh, telling the color argument that uh, in the color argument that uh, the color should be based on the cylinder number of cylinders the colors should be uh, 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 using this color vector which I created and therefore the, the data point should be the red blue or green so if I run this piece of code we see that now we have red blue and green data points we can also have uh, different uh, data point shapes let's have a look at it now what we are saying is okay uh, we did change the colors now we ch want to change the um, data point shape or symbol itself and to to uh, for that we are going to use another argument called symbol we are going to say that symbol should be based on the number of cylinders same concept and what are these uh, symbols so I created a vector here and defined what these symbols should be and in the marker argument I'm defining what shall be their size so if I run this piece of code we should see different size sorry different shapes 
um, of data points and you can see that uh, the different uh, shapes are there depending on the number of cylinders now when we are um, having these data points we can have data points um, color scale based on continuous variable so let's take this example uh, where we have um, we want the color based on uh, a continuous variable not a factor variable and I have used the variable this time um, the variable is displacement so if I run this code you can see that um, we have uh, the data points based on a continuous variable versus a factor variable which we used earlier and um, the the color is based on this continuous range based on this legend now i've got another example here where we have the um, the color based on uh, the factor variable but the size is based on a continuous variable so I say that the color should be based on the factor variable as dot factor cylinder and size should be based on the horsepower. If I run this piece of code, we see a combination of two things. The colors are different obviously uh, based on the uh, factor variable, a number of cylinders and also we can see different size the size varies based on the horsepower defined on uh, the uh, for that uh, for the corresponding data points